All the Python source code for this lesson is available for download. See video description. Welcome to our 3D animation of a convolutional neural network, or CNN, at work. Here, we will show you how CNNs apply convolution operations to process input data and generate output feature maps. See CNN Lesson 1 for the introduction to CNN. Here, we will start with the animation shown below. On your left, you will see a yellow 3D block made up of cubes. It has dimensions of 8 by 7 by 6, representing an input volume with 8 channels, each of size 7 by 6. Each second, you will see a 3D block of 8 by 3 by 3 cubes highlighted in blue. This represents the region of the input that we are applying our convolutional filter to. In front of this input block, we have 8 different filters moving on a diagonal path. Each filter has the dimensions 8 by 3 by 3, matching the depth of the input block. Each filter has a unique color, pink, light blue, light green, cyan, magenta, green, brown, and light magenta. One at a time, each filter is used to perform 20 computations with the input block, resulting in 20 points in our output volume, also known as the feature map. To help you visualize this, the computed points in the output volume will have the same color as the filter that was used to compute them. You will also notice two rainbow arrows. These arrows show the direction of computation, starting from the input volume, passing through the filter, and ending up at the output volume. Look for the blue bullets on top of the active filter. This indicates that this is the current filter being used to compute the output points. Finally, Pay attention to how the cubes in the output volume appear one by one. This helps to illustrate the step-by-step -step computation process, showing how each output point is generated from the input data using the convolutional filters. As you watch this animation, you will gain a deeper understanding of how CNNs transform input data into meaningful feature maps through the process of convolution. So, Sit back and enjoy the visual journey through a convolutional neural network at work. What are convolutional neural networks? Convolutional neural networks, CNNs, are a class of deep learning models that have revolutionized the field of computer vision. Enabling computers to develop an understanding of images and videos in a way that was not possible before. They are a subset of neural networks that have their origins in the study of the brain's visual cortex and have been used in image recognition tasks. Unlike traditional neural networks, which process inputs in their entirety, CNNs process inputs in parts. Taking advantage of the fact that the inputs, typically images, have a grid-like topology. This local processing allows CNNs to automatically and adaptively learn spatial hierarchies of features. A task that is particularly well-suited to images. Where higher-level features, like shapes or faces, can be represented in terms of lower-level features, like edges or corners. CNNs also excel at handling high-dimensional data. In traditional neural networks, the number of parameters grows rapidly with the number of inputs, leading to a curse of dimensionality that can make the network infeasible to train. CNNs, by contrast, use weight-sharing and pooling, downsampling, to control the number of parameters, making them much more efficient and enabling them to handle much larger inputs. A typical CNN is composed of one or more convolutional layers, followed by pooling, downsampling, layers, and then fully connected layers. Each layer of the network applies differentiable functions over its inputs, and the network learns the parameters of these functions through backpropagation. What is backpropagation? Backpropagation, short for backward propagation of errors, is a central algorithm in training neural networks, including convolutional neural networks, CNNs. It is a method used to calculate the gradient of the loss function with respect to the network S weights and biases. The backpropagation algorithm consists of two main steps, a forward pass and a backward pass. During the forward pass, the network makes a prediction based on the current values of weights and biases. The prediction is then compared to the true output, 
and the difference between them is quantified using a loss function. This gives us a measure of how well the network is performing. The backward pass is where the actual backpropagation happens. Starting from the output layer and moving backward towards the input layer. The algorithm calculates the gradient of the loss function with respect to the network S weights and biases. This is done by applying the chain rule of calculus to break down the computation of the derivative into manageable parts. In a CNN, backpropagation works in much the same way as in a regular neural network. The difference lies in the presence of convolution and pooling layers. The backpropagation through a convolution layer involves convolving the error term from the previous layer. With the weights of the current layer, similarly to how the input was convolved with the weights in the forward pass. For a pooling layer, the error term is simply passed through to the layer before, but it is unpooled. I.e., expanded to match the dimensions of the previous layer S output. Thank you for watching our videos. See video description for the next lesson. All the Python source code for this lesson is available for download. See video description.